Hello and welcome to a um, Wireshark quick start, the short version. Um, this is intended to uh, get you up and running with the super basic questions about how to use Wireshark. So for this purpose, I have uh, started a uh, virtual machine, um, virtual machine that is running on the inside on the host where Wireshark is running. So when you start Wireshark, there is a question here, which is, which interface should I use to uh, should I use for capturing packages? And it knows a lot of interfaces. Some of these are actual Ethernet interface. There's some Bluetooth here, some extra stuff. And which one to use? So since I want to listen in on the traffic on my virtual machine, I will go check that the uh, virtual machine is it is connected to netting, which in uh, VMware. Uh, Parlance is uh, VMNet 8. So I will start sniffing traffic on VMNet 8. And you see that uh, Wireshark is um, super nice um, and Kali is also nice. It really does not uh, send out any packages when you don't do anything. So if we try to um, ping something, you will see that the packages start appearing. We have some ARP requests and some ICMP. And while we have uh, packages in this amount of a super specific type, it is not obvious that you need to uh, filter. But if we do something in our virtual machine that um, requires us to uh, filter later, we start a web browser. And um, since Kali is Kali, we don't go online just because of the web browser. Oh, yeah, some extra traffic. Apparently, we are doing things online. Um, so we have just started a browser. We haven't even accessed the internet yet. And then suddenly we have a lot of traffic, which is kind of interesting. And it tells you a lot about how uh, browsers usually work. They do a lot of things behind the scenes where it connects to the world to do all kinds of things. Um, you could start looking into uh, what the IP addresses are, if you like. I wanted to go to uh, gitlab.com uh, and um, you will see that um, it really loads a lot of stuff in order to actually access this. So we have now been pinging while all this is happening and we want to refine all the packages. Should we let it finish first? It is doing a lot of things here. So um, we will um, just stop the uh, the packet capture. And uh, for completeness, we will um, just stop the ICMP also. So we now have collected a little less than 10,000 packages. And we want to refine the ping packages. There are two ways of doing this or more perhaps, but the easiest way would be to say, hey, I know that uh, ping packages are ICMP packages, and then it will show you all ICMP traffic. Uh, ICMP is not necessarily ping, but a lot of it is ping. It's often ping, especially when we do tests. So we can see that we, uh, from this host here, which is the internal IP address of uh, my virtual machine, 28888, we have been pinging and we have been doing it. Uh, do we have a number here? It's uh, 90, 93 times. Okay. Um, we could also uh, do a, um, if we remove this again, and then we have all the traffic, all 10,000 uh, packages, packets. Um, then we can filter on the IP address. So when we do testing, we want to generate some traffic that is super easy to refine. If you are having a lot of traffic to 8888, use another server that you know is online like 1111 or 8844 or something similar so that you can separate the traffic easily. Um, and um, ICMP traffic and port 888, oh, sorry, IP address 8888. And you'll see that um, I didn't press enter, yes. And now we have found it all again. So if you had ICMP traffic and other traffic going to this IP address, you would see it all now. But 
this thing about IP dot address, it will show you the data going in both ways. You can also do IP address dot source, which means that only the stuff coming from 8888 is selected. So when you start Wireshark, you must set it up to um, listen and capture on the correct interface. And you must uh, set up some filtering in order to find what you're looking for. There are a lot of filters in Wireshark. Um, ICMP and IP are the ones I use the most because I do network debugging, but there are HTTP and uh, TLS and um, all also all the um, uh, protocols you've never heard of that uh, Wireshark actually knows. Yes. So this was a super quick primer on this and um, um, thank you for listening.